Welcome to Open Farm Sunday. Today, the auto spray team are down on Woodside Farm. It's a hunter pack farm near Shifnal, and we're showing how the big XAG Agri drones can be used on British farms today. In fact, a great example of how these drones are helping farmers right now was a job we did on Wednesday earlier this week. We were on a farm in Yorkshire applying pod stick to a lovely field of oil seed rain. The farmer was very proud. He explained that this was his best crop in living memory. So naturally, he wanted to protect it and maximise its yield. So to prevent pod shatter, he wanted to apply a latex based spray that effectively glues the pod shut, keeping their precious seeds inside till it's harvest time. Usually, the farmer would fill up his big sprayer with pod stick, drive up and down the tram lines in his field, spraying the crop. But this is not a job he looks forward to because a fully grown oilseed rape crop is about six or seven feet high, is incredibly dense, so the tractor causes lots of damage as it travels up and down. This farmer has just about the perfect setup for this type of work. He's got a big self-propelled sprayer with a 30 meter boom and tall skinny tires. But even with this setup, he estimates that he loses approximately 5% of his crop due to damage. But this 5% loss is greatly outweighed by the much bigger risk of pod shatter if the crop isn't protected. At today's oilseed rate prices, that 5% equates to a loss of around 90 pounds a hectare. So in this 12 hectare field, he'd be losing over a thousand pounds due to damage. So naturally, he was very keen to see if our big XAG P100 Pro could do a better job without any damage. Even the manufacturer De Sangos came down to oversee the trial. Because the drone flies three meters above the crop when it's spraying, it never touches it. So it can't cause any damage. But the burning question was whether or not it would cover the pods properly and could the spray penetrate into this very dense crop. To find out, we added food safe UV fluorescence dye to the pod stick mix and we got to work. We were applying 100 litres a hectare of pod stick solution with largest 230 micron droplets. Once we'd sprayed the field, Stuart bravely waded into the crop to cut some treated samples. Here we go, let's test this. <laughs> well, when the UV lights came on, the oilseed rape lit up like Christmas decorations. The pods right through the canopy were covered in pod stick that would protect them from any threat of pod shatter. The down thrust from the drone had forced the pod stick deep into the dense canopy, giving it superb protection. We even tried reducing the application rates to 50 and 25 litres per hectare, and these also gave impressive results. But it was the collective opinion that 100 litres per hectare gave the best coverage, because, well, more is more. But it will be interesting to see just how much coverage a conventionally sprayed crop gets. We'll do that trial next week and we'll compare the results. But for now, our farmer in Yorkshire is a very happy man. His crop is protected and it's free from any damage and he's looking forward to a bumper yield. I'm sure some of you, particularly the farmers viewing, will have some questions for me. Feel free to ask and I'll come back to you as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching.